Deep in the mountainous forests of Yunnan, China, there is a rare mammal that few have ever seen. Ancient legends say these elusive animals' calls can forecast the weather and even predict death. While steeped in traditional culture, they were only discovered as a new species just a few years ago. And shortly after, I became one of the first foreign photographers to document them in their natural habitat. Hi, I'm Kyle Oberman, nature contributor for the China Current, showing China's wild side. After they were discovered as a new species by a team of local and international scientists, the Skywalker Gibbon immediately caught global attention. In fact, they earned this name partly because the scientists who discovered them were Star Wars fans. But there was a dark side to the news. In 2017, there were less than 300 Skywalkers in China. The excitement of their discovery was immediately tempered by the pressing question about a safeguard their future. Belonging to the ape family, gibbons like the Skywalkers are most easily differentiated from monkeys by their lack of tail. In fact, they are some of our closest genetic ancestors. But around the world, gibbon species are increasingly threatened and even facing extinction. In China, gibbon habitats once extended across much of the country to the extent that they were romanticized by poets across ancient China. But deforestation has destroyed much of their traditional range. Skywalkers today in China are only found in a small corner of southwest Yunnan, near China's border with Myanmar. Thankfully, Skywalkers are a protected species in China, and many live in a national nature reserve, which in the near future may be upgraded to a national park. Much of the ongoing work being done to protect the species is rooted in first understanding it more. Similar to early conservation efforts of the giant panda in the 70s and 80s, scientists must first intimately understand the gibbon's habits and needs before they can decide upon a protection plan. I've accompanied the scientists and forest rangers in the National Nature Reserve for carrying out the research and protection efforts. The forests and mountains where the gibbons live are some of the most beautiful I've ever visited. Listening to the gibbons' morning songs is one of the most magical natural phenomena I've ever experienced. Currently, while less efforts are needed to protect the gibbons inside the nature reserve, local grassroots groups are working to raise awareness for gibbon protection in communities and villages next to skywalker populations outside of the reserve. Educating young people about the ecological value of the gibbons, as well as listening to and promoting the traditional ecological knowledge of indigenous communities in the area are some of the prime ways the habitat of gibbons can be protected outside the reserves. This is part of a broader trend across the globe to recognize and include local communities in conservation. In many areas across China, taboos traditionally warned against hunting or poaching gibbons. With modernization, such cultural knowledge is often lost. But by combining new scientific research with ancient respect for nature, we can better protect nature and the people living close by. With this new path forward, scientists today are now cautiously optimistic about the Skywalker's future. James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.